let's talk a little bit about diversity. We've defined it in a very uh, unique way at the institution, and I've had the opportunity to shape that. And so first, I'm going to tell you the definition, and then I'll unpack something about it. So the definition is this. Diversity is the unique identity and lived experience of individuals and groups in our community and the way we prioritize and represent that. So what does that mean? So many times diversity is looked at as these individual discrete identity markers. Here's somebody, they're black, they're a woman, um, especially those visible identity markers, right? Um, they're trans, what have you. Um, so that's a limitation uh, to many definitions of diversity is that it's only the individual identity markers that so many think people think of. And so many, find, so many times that sets up a dynamic where the diversity is defined from a gaze, an external gaze looking at somebody from the outside, right? So when we go and understand lived experience, then we understand that that is generated from an internal thing that's generated from how people see themselves right and so so many times uh we can't separate the way uh our different aspects of our identity relate to each other as Audre Lorde said you know as intersectionality teaches us um all of these things we can't separate them so my identity as black as a man as you know middle class and other things, they all shape my lived experience in a holistic way. Um, also, for example, somebody who's Latina and trans and working class or what have you, right? All of these things shape their lived experience. So when we talk about lived experience, we're talking about that in a multicultural way. So here's the way um, that I, you know, I see myself, here's the way that I've been socialized in ways that I celebrate value, what have you. But we're also talking about lived experience from this intersectional way. So how does the, the traditional, the historical aspects of power and privilege shape my identity, right? So aspects of in, in America of whiteness, of the patriarchy, of, of you know, capitalism in these very hyper capitalist ways. How do, they, how do they shape my identity and what I have to navigate, right? So these aspects of historical marginalization or what have you. And so it's very important that we understand diversity from these different lenses. Also, it's also important, the way we define diversity is that we say everybody's diverse. Pause with that, right? Because you, you, you probably hesitated when I said that because that can be misused, right? So everybody's diverse, right? We don't wanna set up this experience of othering where here's the diverse people and here's the non-diverse people. That sets up this othering, right? Actually, we're all diverse, but we have to pay special attention to the experiences that some individuals and groups have of historical marginalization, right? And not just the marginalization, but the ways in which they've had resilience through the marginalization, the ways in which they've had resistance of it, the ways in which they've experienced joy in spite of it, and the ways in which they've, they've had liberation and they've changed things about and made, you know, things even more, uh, a more perfect union, what, what have you, in spite of the marginalization, right? And so that's all very important. And so these are all of the ways we look at diversity. And that last point too, is that even though we're looking and saying that everybody's diverse, we're not using that to erase the, uh, the, the uh, experiences of people who have gone through those things uh, in our society and had to navigate those things in our society, right? So here's the ways that we look at diversity uh, in a nuanced way that's maybe unique from other ways you've heard about diversity. 